In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. State versus Aaron Anderson, 15-211, which is a revocation, and 19-113, a new case. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Judge, Mr. Anderson is one who's been screened and deemed appropriate for drug court, and I don't want to go so far as say accepted, but uh, there was an issue with his housing, but I think we, if we could get his housing situation worked out, they'll accept him, and I think we're the email I received from Sean Wiseman with probation and parole was that they were looking at seeing if they could get him into the drug court in either Baxter County or Carroll County, and it all hinged on his housing arrangement. And they, they asked for the continuance, and so I don't have a problem with that. They believe they can have it squared away to where we either know he's going in the drug court or we can have a hearing on the 24th. If that's acceptable to the court. Let's look at... Uh Nineteen one thirteen, <clears throat> which is a drug case. Has he been arraigned? Judge, I show on March 15th he's in custody and pled not guilty. Okay, it says he's going to apply to the public defender. Did, did he do that? He has, Judge. We've been appointed okay. in both right. of this case and his revocation. Okay. That was one th- nineteen one thirteen, correct? Yes. Okay. And you want him to come back on the 24th? 24th, Your Honor. If by chance he does uh, plead in drug court before that date, we'll notify the court so he can be removed from the docket. Okay, reappear on uh, May 24th at 9.30, sir. Thank you. Clifford Andrews, 10-69, scheduled for a revocation hearing. The last time Mr. Andrews made an appearance via Skype, there was still an issue of attorney status, and I do not know if that's been resolved yet. (coughs) Okay, have you hired a lawyer, sir? Uh, Yes, sir, I have, but I've had uh, a really hard time trying to get a hold of him from in here. I heard that he had had some problems with his mother during his surgery, and then she had passed away. at this time, Your Honor, again, I'd like to request a bond so I can uh, attend to my affairs and assure that I can appear in court with uh, with uh, legal counsel. Yeah. Well, if you want to continue your hearing, I'll be glad to continue the hearing and exclude the time. I'm I, sorry, I didn't hear you. I can continue the hearing to May 24th if you want. I'm, I'm not actually... I'm actually sure without being able to speak to Mr. Barker about that. I don't know if it would. Um, okay. Well, I tell you, I tell you what. I, I'll just bring you over here this afternoon, or when we transport prisoners, and we'll call Mr. Barker. Where's he located at? He is uh, out of Eureka Springs, and I'll try to do the same as well from the jail. What's his What's his name? Tim Parker. Tim Parker. Parker. Tim Parker. Okay. Well, we'll give him a call. We'll transport you. Over. Michael Barnett has three cases. It says bond hearing. Do we need to bring him over? 
Your Honor, I was advised the defense was going to ask for a bond. I did file petitions to revoke bond in two of his cases, so those are pending. If we need to bring him over, that's fine. I don't know if this is something we can address without his presence or not. What do you prefer, Mr. Gibson? Yeah, I guess you represent him. I do, Your Honor. Uh, in all three cases, I, I mean, I think it's I think it's an issue we could probably take up here. I don't know that it's going to be that complex. Okay. All right. We we may transport you or may not, sir. We're, you'll know later today. Hi, Joshua Brazel, 17 181, set for revocation hearings. Your Honor, I've been advised that uh, Mr. Brazel has accepted my plea offer, but I do not have plea statements typed. I could either try to do it today and we could do it on today's docket, or we could just have him come back on the 24th, and I know the paperwork will be ready then. And, yeah. Judge, it'll be an ADC plea, so I'd, it's. He's getting time sitting, so. Okay. On a revocation. And a new charge. It's a wrap up on both. Okay. Well, let's bring him over. We'll transport you to the courthouse, sir. Tanner Crook, 1951, 1991. Is there anything to be done in that case? No, Judge. We have a scheduling order in place, and I'm going to ask that the 191 track with that as well. Very well. And, Your Honor, I've provided discovery to Mr. Shield this morning in both cases. That's correct. Okay, let me look at 191. Judge, we're here on an arraignment today. Okay, sir. And, and I have uh, discussed the sentencing ranges with Mr. Crook, and um, he has understanding of his constitutional rights. We'd like to waive a formal reading and enter a not guilty plea on all charges. Very, very well. We'll enter that uh, not guilty plea, and if we haven't already, we'll schedule the matter out. Thank you, Judge. Okay, thank you, sir. And that's all the business I had. And we'll, I guess you and will try to track it along with the earlier cases. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care. Francis Frenzel, 15139, aggravated assault. Several counts, endangering the welfare of a minor, shown a revocation. It is, Your Honor. This is the first appearance. Mr. Frenzel was served with the warrant on April 29th. Okay. Do you have a lawyer, sir? Uh, I do not, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, permission to speak? Wait, just well, give me a moment here. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you going to make application to the public defender? I have one here in my hand. Okay, fill it out. I'll have you reappear on the, oh, what we're saying, May 24th at 9.30 for attorney status. We'll go ahead and enter a plea of not true in the case. What What did you want to say, sir? Your Honor, would it be possible to set a bond night? Let me look at the allegations. I've got a wife and three children, and we just recently heard my wife's got diabetes, and I'm, I'm worried about her. And okay. She's filled out my Medicaid, and I'm supposed to be going to see a doctor as well, and I, I would really love to be able to get out and do that, Your Honor. Yeah. Given the allegations here, I'm, I'm not inclined to do that right now. Why don't you get get a lawyer, and maybe they can communicate with the prosecutor, and if something can be worked out, I'll, I'll certainly listen to it. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Benjamin Guthrie, 19 1. So it looks like a drug Hello, case. Your Honor. How are you? I'm fairly well. I've been here quite a while. I was hoping to resolve this completely and possibly, well, hopefully, go home. Okay. She's made applications. That's the start.
We have appointed the public defender's office to represent you. Let me see what we got here. <clears throat> Your Honor, I believe there was a failure to appear on March the 15th and may have been one. I'm showing there was a non-appearance on January 11th, another one on February 22nd, and another one on March the 15th. Your Honor, I appeared uh, twice already in the courthouse. Uh, just failure to appear is, is, and I appeared and the charges were dropped. I, but I had charges for failure to appear, so here I am, Your Honor. Hey, I apologize. I, I, I really do. Did the state dismiss the No, trial? Your Honor. Uh, this, this case hasn't has barely made any movement because of the non-appearances, but no, we certainly have not dismissed or all processed the case. There have, for whatever reason, there have been several alias warrants issued for you, or directed yes. to be issued. At his last appearance via Skype on April 26th, the court set bond at $1,500 cash. He's appearing today for attorney status. Okay, then let's see. Five three. There's a bond post. Yeah, the original bond that was posted was, uh, I think, it was a fifteen hundred dollar professional surety. He posted oh. that through Campbell Bonding. I wonder why that's coming in on May third. <coughs> hmm. I don't know. <coughs> Well, if we bring him over, do you think something could be done about the, the case, or is it too early? To... Judge, I'd say anything's possible. If we're already going to have to bring some others over, we might as well include Mr. Guthrie. We'll bring you to the courthouse. Transport you to the courthouse, okay? To the courthouse is State versus Chad Henry, 19 212. Terroristic threatening, stalking. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Judge, he's made application. Dr. Proach. Okay, sir, I'm going to order that you appear before Judge Webb. He'll be handling your case. On May 17th at 8.30. Okay, can I get my bottle over? Uh, let me check and see what it is. And switch to the uh, Mr. Henry is charged with stalking in the second degree of terroristic threatening. Bond is currently set at twenty-five thousand with five thousand being cash only. He needs to order to wear an ankle monitor if he posts bond and have no contact with the victim. Let me look at David. <coughs> I'm a single dad and try to keep my job. <laughs> What's it set at now? Uh, 25000 with five being cash only. And also conditioned upon ankle monitor and having no contact with the victim. We'll set your bond at $15,000 and wear an ankle monitor. Is that cash pro or? Yes, but you got to wear an ankle monitor. There'll be no contact with the alleged victim. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Your Honor. You may stand aside. Thank you. <coughs> hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find your perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. Camps Plants, in business for over 35 years in Harrison. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. 
The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Hi, I'm Tara Wilmot, and as a HealthMart pharmacist, I have a crucial commitment to our community because just like you, I support our community. All HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned, just like our HealthMart here in Harrison. Sam Alexander Pharmacy on the Square in downtown Harrison. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Ryan Higgins, 19-200. He's made applications all well, around. Aggravated assault and other <clears throat> charges. Yes, sir, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. And let's see. Labor for arraignment, Your Honor. Was the case transferred to me? I it was, Your Honor. He has a case already on our docket, 19-161. Uh, okay. How does he plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Way okay. before reading the information. We'll enter that plea and we've scheduled the matter for hearings and trials. Okay, you may stand aside. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, Your Honor, may I speak? Yes. Uh, I've been incarcerated for about a month and a half with half of my bond be, being set at catch professional and the other half being set at catch only. Your Honor, I would like if we we'll consider moving the bond that is set at catch only to catch professional so that I may bond out and attend to my affairs. I'm, I'm going to leave this one where it's at, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Frederick Jordan, 19217. Aggravated assault, domestic battery, endangering the welfare of a minor. Good morning. Do you have a lawyer, sir? But the judge, I guess I handed you Mr. Jordan's application oh, instead of Mr. Okay. Higgins. So you've appointed us, and I guess I. All right. Well, not seeing Mr. Higgins' application. But that's fine. So he's got one. He does. Looks like he's here for. I'm sorry. We have been appointed, John. I apologize. He's here for arraignment. We plead not guilty. We have a formal reading of the charges. Okay. <clears throat> we'll enter that plea of not guilty and schedule the matter for hearings and trial. You may stand aside. Thank you. Robert, is it Coos? Yes, sir. 08 08 44. Must be on a revocation. Yes, it is. It is, Your Honor, I believe. And this is before Judge Webb. I want to have you appear before Judge Webb on May 17th at 8.30 for arraignment yes, and attorney uh, status. Can I ask a question? Yes. I've been currently, uh, currently incarcerated in Taney County and Stone County, and then back to Taney County, and then here. Um, I know I want to talk to Robert Campbell about standing on my bond. I'm not sure what the conversation had entailed. I was just wondering if uh, I may have bond reinstated. Uh, why are you? I was, I was incarcerated. Why are you in jail right now? I don't understand. Yeah, I um, they transported me because I missed my court date because I was oh. incarcerated on, in November oh. in Taney County, Missouri. Well, let's and see. And they transported me down here after my case was done in, in Missouri. And uh, they transported me down here just last week from Taney County. Did he go to Taney County after he was here? Judge, uh, I'm looking at the timeline on the action sheet in our file. It, it looks like we discovered he was in Taney County in November. 
Looks like the revocation's been going on a while. It has. And based on the notes that I see in our file and some paperwork that's been drafted for Judge Webb's signature, the state's not going to agree to a change in the bond. Look here. And I've also been currently uh, accepted into Care Ministries. I'm going to be doing their three-year program, Your Honor. I tell you what, I'll just set it for hearing on on May 17th, and that way you can get it behind you. I'm just going. I'm not going to address the bond. I'll set the hearing for May 17th. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Brandon Ledford, 19211. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Control substances, DWI, refusal to submit. Judge, I believe Mr. Ledford was a Rain in front of Judge Webb looks like last week, and we were appointed to represent him. I do show him scheduled out in Division Three, though. Okay. We'll leave it as scheduled. You may stand aside. Thank you, sir. Danny Reynolds, 19157. Control substances, paraphernalia, driving charges. Looks like he's already entered a plea of not guilty and we've scheduled it out. So you may stand aside, sir. Thank you. Yeah, is there any, sir, is there any way to get a bond? You, oh, you don't have a bond. Well, yeah, we'll get you one. So, Your Honor, I know that Mr. Reynolds also has a pending probation revocation. Oh, do you have a revocation? He has one pending in yeah. Division 4. Thank you for the revocation. I've been going to drug classes, oh. or drug um, counseling, and I have, I've had the same job for a year and a half, the same place of residence. I'm mixing with my PO. Okay. On this case, you have a bond search $7,500. So, apparently, it's the revocation that you may not have a bond on. Who, who is that before? I don't it's before Judge Webb. Oh, it's before another judge. So, you have a bond. Yeah. You may stand aside. Ryan Tabor, 19136, terroristic threatening assault also. Let's see. Has he been arraigned? Oh, this is Judge Webb's case. I'm going to order you to appear on May 17th at 8.30. You may stand aside. Your Honor, I believe... Mr. Uh, may I have permission to speak? Yes, what is it, sir? I was wondering if I could get my bond changed to a cash or pro. My father is dying of pancreatic cancer, and my son graduates high school next week. And I'd really it, like to be there. Is his bond something different? What is his Your bond? Your Honor, the bond in 19166, he has two cases. In 19166, his bond is 10000 but 5000 uh, must be cash only. Okay. Uh, the alleged victims in that case, I believe, are his parents. Yeah. So you have... You have uh, she's been trying to get a hold of the prosecuting attorney all week to get something done. Your Honor... Our office has been in contact with Mr. Tabor's parents frequently over the last several months. They know where we are and they know how to contact us. Okay. Well, you have a, your bond in this. You can make a bond with a bonding company in this case. Apparently, it's another case that you have a cash bond on. Cash or pro? <clears throat> in this case. In this case. Cash not in the okay. other case. You may stand aside. Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. 
Whether you're hunting, fishing, or tailgating, Clay Maxi Ford has you covered. That's right, near or far, when it comes to getting you where you want to go, America's best-selling truck, the F-150, is up to the challenge. You can depend on our vehicles, our prices, and most importantly, our people. So come see us today at Clay Maxi Ford in Harrison and in Berryville. Or visit us online at ClayMaxiFord.com and ClayMaxiFordBerryville.com. Vincent Waters, 19162. Judge, there's no issues to take up in Mr. Waters' case this time. Okay. <coughs> you may stand aside, sir. Oh. 16311, 16330, Michael Williams, is that for hearing? Your Honor, Let's see if he's there. Your Honor, Mr. Williams has two cases on our docket, both from 2016, I believe, if not 15. Uh, Mr. Williams was in federal custody for quite some time in Missouri and uh, his federal case has been resolved and he was transported back to the Arkansas Department of Correction to continue serving sentences from other counties. And so this was just our opportunity to finally get him back in front of this court to get him on our docket for trial setting in his two cases. Action was suspended in both cases for quite some time because of his pending federal matter. Has he ever appeared? Do, do you know? Judge, I believe he has. So let me look at him. Not, yeah, but it's know. been about two and a half years ago. Okay. <coughs> okay. He, you're correct. Has he entered a plea? Well, we'll enter a plea of not guilty, just to make sure, and then if we haven't already, we'll reschedule the matters. Thank you, Judge. You may stand aside, sir. Okay. Jason Vanderpool, 19194, Control Substances. He's made application on that approach. Okay. So your case is before Judge Webb. I'm going to have you appear on May 17th at 8.30 before Judge Webb. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. We, have, we have one on our docket. Do you want it transferred over here? Okay. Mr. Gibson. <clears throat> He's got a, one on our docket, she says. But uni says. Is it the older of the two? Yes. I don't have any objection to the new one being transferred. All right. No objection, Your Honor. I apologize. I wouldn't. needs arraigned on this one with way before okay. meeting in her plea of not guilty. We'll enter that plea of not guilty and I've appointed the public defender's office to represent him and we'll schedule the matter for hearing. Now you may stand aside. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, can I say something please? Yes. Uh, uh, I was, I've been incarcerated since uh, April 16th. Right. On a failure to appear. I haven't had a bond. I was wondering if there's any way I could possibly get a bond. Um, on parole. I'm not going to go nowhere. Wait, okay, there. I don't see a failure to appear in, in this case. Your Honor, I, I reflect in 18 419 that there was a failure to appear in December. And uh, show cause was served on Campbell Bonding. They appeared on March 15th and said they needed some additional time. And that was reset to April 26th, and on that date, 
I reflect that uh, Mr. Vanderpool was in jail on that day. And when I see a continuance by the bondsman, that tells me that they had some trouble locating Mr. Vanderpool. Which case is this? That's in 18-419, a case that's already pending on our docket. Um, Your Honor, if I, vote, uh, if I can speak, uh, I've always, I, you know, I, I did, I made, a, I made a mistake, and I understand the importance of, of being in court. I, you know, I've never had any failure to appear, Your Honor, before this. I've always been in court dates, and, and I, I'd be willing to do anything the courts would oppose uh, upon me if a house arrest or whatever I could do. If I could just please get a bond on my grandma's, uh, which is Susan Breed Love, she ain't doing real good. And I'd like to spend a little time with her before I end up going to prison, Your Honor. In Please, I'm asking the court in for eight, mercy. In 18419, I set a $1,500 cash bond. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. 16213, Kayla Bratton, is that right? It is, Your Honor. She's on the revocation docket. I've discussed the matter with the probation and parole, and they've agreed that we can convert this to a contempt. <coughs> Would the court want her presence here in court for that, or can we just do that? No, we can do it right here, I think. She's been in jail since April 1st. Um, the petition alleged a probation violation out of district court. I contacted the clerk's office. They advised that uh, her sentence on that matter was 30 days suspended, and they put her back on probation in district court. Uh, the petition alleges some other misdemeanors, but our district clerk's office has no record of those. I uh, haven't been able to determine where those are from. And uh, under the circumstances, probation and parole has agreed to convert the matter to a contempt and also move to do so. Okay. Is there any recommendation on a sentence? The sentence, Your Honor, would be credit for the time that she has served since April 1st. And I can do some quick math and tell you how much time that is. Given an allegation, I'm not sure that's enough time. But it says she... Uh, at a misdemeanor public intoxication and disorderly conduct tested positive for methamphetamine, marijuana, and alcohol. Yeah, the disorderly conduct and in public intoxication, we can't, we can't determine what court, if any, of those were put in. Uh, the probation violation, because she was put back on probation in district court. Um, I, I appreciate the court's concern on the failed drug test, certainly. go 60. That would be credit for the 40 she's done. That would be 20 more. Uh, judge, how about this? If we could put her on for the 24th, I'll get to visit with her and I think it would right. be a wash either way. We appear right. on the 24th. Um, Your Honor, um, I was, I've been approved to be uh, released to the Oxford House in, in town. Um, for, it's, a, it's a sober living home for uh, females. Okay. Okay, I'll get with you. We'll probably still get you in there, but it's gonna, it, at the earliest, it's going to be a couple of weeks, okay? Okay. We need Miss Eastwood called up. Summer Eastwood, 16331, 19-52. Uh, I'm busy with Miss Eastwood. Uh, she said that her family is in the process of obtaining her private counsel. Uh, and I do believe that her financial circumstances have changed since she was appointed. Uh, she did receive a settlement, uh, a pretty decent chunk that she has got to put forth to private counsel. Okay, good deal. So if we could continue her to the May 24th and let her make those arrangements. All right. Then. I speak, Your Honor? Wait just a moment. Wait, give me a moment. Okay, I'll continue to May 24th. Yes. Um, if I could get a cash or pro bond, and I, I pass a drug test for my probation officer once a week until my trial, and if I fail a drug test, I'll take the original three years RPF charge. If I fail a drug test one time. If I could just get a cash or pro bond. Your Honor, I, 
I would like to at I'm least not, discuss not the, I would like to at least discuss the cases with her supposed new counsel before yeah. I agree to anything on yeah. bond. And have your counsel contact Mr. Uh, Bradford and maybe they can work something out. Yes, Your Honor. Thank okay. you. Loretta Montgomery, 18171 on a revocation. Is this it's her first appearance? Is that right? I believe so, Your Honor. She had a underlying case, 19135, that I believe is the part of the basis for this petition. It is a first appearance on the petition, Your Honor. And Judge Wood by a former reading the petition and her plea are not true. Okay. of not true can we set it for the 24 that's fine your honor okay we'll set the hearing for the 24 thank you thank you many things have changed over the years and so has auto body repair even though ozark auto body has been in business for over 30 years they continue to change with the times they believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel plus 24 hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body in Harrison, always taking pride in excellence. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. Anna Ashley, 19197, theft by receiving. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. And 19203. See, do you have a lawyer, ma'am? Judge, we've been appointed in her case. Okay. And Judge, I actually show she has three pending cases 1975, 19197, and 19203. Has she posted bond in all three of them? Yes. Well, and looking at. Uh, 197, it doesn't appear she's been arraigned. How did she plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Way before we're reading the information. Okay. 75. She's been arraigned in that case. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Looks like you've been arraigned in the 
all three cases. You just need to stay in contact with the public defender's office. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Donald Breedlove, 18109, revocation here. on he needed to be screened by HRA in order to get approved and put into a rehabilitation facility and we're in the process of working on that. Your Honor, I received an email message from Sean Wiseman with Adult Probation and Parole. It says Donald Breedlove has been accepted in the Teen Challenge. He is a drug court graduate and does well in this type of structure. Uh, the options here would be the null cross, the Revo, conditioned upon Mr. Breedlove completing Teen Challenge or sentencing him to ADC with that time suspended on condition that he complete Teen Challenge. Mr. Wiseman likes the later option because that holds something a little stronger over Mr. Breedlove's, Breedlove's head to encourage him to complete the program, and I tend to agree with that. So, Mr. Gibson, I may want to discuss Mr. Breedlove's case on the break and see if we can come to an agreement on that. If we could recall him, Judge. Okay. We'll call your case later, sir. <laughs> Anna Dunsing, 19143, drug case. Sir, I believe this is for arraignment. Do you have a, an attorney, ma'am? Um, I applied for the public defender on Wednesday. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Oh, we do have an application. I apologize. Public Defender's Office to represent you, ma'am. And you appear here for an arraignment. How does she plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Waiver form reading the information. Okay. Stay in contact with your lawyer. Thank you. Just make an appointment come see me, okay? Gregory Easter, 19-210, Drugs and Firearms, Drug Paraphernalia. Drug possession. Very approach he's made application. Sir, your case is before Judge Webb up here on uh, May 17th at 8 30. Here you go. Oh. Judge, Miss Goodnight's in. In the courtroom. If I could approach, she's made application. Actually, good night, nineteen to fifteen. Possession with purpose to deliver control substances, paraphernalia, fictitious tags.
have appointed the public defender's office to represent her, and how did she plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. We were formally reading the information. Okay. Stay in contact with your lawyer. Anthony Henson, 19214, aggravated assault, terroristic threatening, domestic battery. Uh, judge, this appears to be a Division Four case. If you want me to hold the application for Judge Webb, just appear on uh, May 17th at 8:30. Yes, Benjamin Lewis, 19218, control substances and paraphernalia. Judge, Mr. Lewis is filling out the application. We do represent him at his Newton County charges. Um, I would ask, I know that they're separate counties, but I would ask if we could transfer this matter to Division Three, uh, based on his Newton County cases being Division Three as fine. well. Just finish filling that out, we'll recall you. John Lewis, 17247, 17265-19-61. Yes, Your Honor. Stephen Grady on behalf of John Lewis. May I be in the prosecutor at this moment? I need to show him something. Okay. There you go. I don't know. Very good. That's her last medical update from Dr. Your Honor, I believe we've worked out an agreement we'd like the case continued until the 24th okay, um, and then anticipate issue, a, a... There's a medical issue in Mr. Lewis's family, Your Honor, that we believe can be resolved in time to enter the negotiated plea on the 24th. Very well. Yes, Your Honor. Ready to go. May, may we be excused? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Sullivan Pharmacy has been serving your prescription needs for over 40 years. Our professional staff is glad to assist you with prescriptions, over-the-counter medicines, and health care products. Stop by Sullivan Pharmacy if you have questions about Medicare Part D, and we'll be glad to help. If you're in a hurry, use our convenient drive through window so you don't have to get out of your car. Sullivan Pharmacy, 731 North Main Street in Harrison, helping you feel better since 1965. Plants, plants, and more plants. That's what you'll find at Camps Plants in Harrison. Perennials, annuals, ferns, hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find your perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. Camps Plants, in business for over 35 years in Harrison. Tamara McPherson, 19183. Judge, Ms. Go ahead. That's okay. Uh, Judge, Ms. McPherson is here. Uh, we've been appointed last week. However, she's here for a plea and arraignment today. Okay. How does she plead? Not guilty. You're on her way for formal reading. Okay. We'll schedule it. Stay in contact with your lawyer, ma'am. Okay. Kevin Robertson, 19150. Sir, your case is before Judge Webb. Appear on May 17th at 8.30. You're free to go. Francis Tucker, 19.213, forgery and theft of property. Good morning. Who's your lawyer, ma'am? Are you going to hire a lawyer or make application to the public um, defender's office? I'm making an application. I asked. They said they were out of them. Out application? Uh, yeah. Earlier. I didn't say they were out. I said there are none up here. See okay. Please. Okay, we'll, we'll fill that one out and we'll recall your case. <clears throat> J.C. Williams, 18-328. Possession of control substances, paraphernalia, and other charges. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a lawyer, ma'am? Judge, we have been appointed in uh, 18328. It's a Division Four case. 
looks like she was issued a failure to appear more last week. Oh, okay. We'll appear before Judge hey. Webb on May 17th May at 8 30. Hey, Speaker Honor. Um, I called as soon as I realized that I had missed the court date. It was a genuine mistake. Um, I called and they said that they would reschedule it for today, that you would uh, more than likely drop the bench warrant since I'm not absconding. Okay. I don't think I issued the bench warrant. I didn't issue it. Judge Webb issued it. Was he the only one that would be able to? Well, I tell you what, why don't you have the lawyer talk to the prosecutor? They may be able to step back there. Is he here? I he might be able to resolve. Cam Campbell is, he? is also here um, on my behalf. Who is? Campbell is also here on my behalf, willing to say that. Um, yeah. Well, th yeah, they can talk to Judge Webb. Maybe they can work it out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 19206, Richard Nadeau. Nadeau. Nadeau, okay. Come forward, sir. Okay, did you, you fill out your application? Yeah, I just got, I filled out when I was incarcerated, and I just got this today when I walked in, so. Okay, I, Because we have been appointed to represent yes, All right. Sir. Let me look at the case. He's a Division Four matter. Oh, all right. Let me see. Several counts of aggravated assault and terrorist threatening. have you appear before Judge Webb on May 17th at 8 30. May 17th already. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Is anyone else here for criminal court whose name I haven't called? Uh, back here, Thomas, Marshall. Thomas Marshall. You know anything about Thomas Marshall? We'll have to look, Your Honor. We don't have any paperwork. Okay, we'll look for that. And Mr. Vanderpool, who, who represents you, sir? I do, Your Honor. You do, Mr. I Stone? What? Uh, apologize for not having a suit, but I didn't know I was supposed to be in court today. That's fine. You'll suffice. Is there anything to be done in the case? Uh, I think last time in Newton County, and I might be wrong, I thought it was to enter a, a, a plea and not guilty. Well, let me Rainbow look and see what we got here. Do you know much? Uh, your Honor, uh, Mr. Vanderpool was uh, supposed to have appeared Wednesday. I believe there was some miscommunication oh, with Mr. Yes. Vanderpool, and everyone agreed that uh, he wasn't communicating the correct date. So uh, I, I think the court wanted him to appear here today just to make sure see that what everything I can find was tracked. Here. There's one open case out of Newton County, 19 15, Stephen Lee Vanderpool. It's a controlled substance case. Draw any alias that might have been issued. Thank you, Your Honor. And it, it's been scheduled, Mr. Stone. You can just look on the computer. It's been scheduled. I'll tell you the next day if I can find it here. August 7th, August 7th in, in Newton County. August 7th. Thank you. Put up just a minute. Let's see. Who, who else? What's your name, sir? Timothy Hardy. I'll remember. Timothy Never Hardy. Is that what you want? On TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. 
Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or tailgating, Clay Maxi Ford has you covered. That's right, near or far, when it comes to getting you where you want to go, America's best-selling truck, the F-150, is up to the challenge. You can depend on our vehicles, our prices, and most importantly, our people. So come see us today at Clay Maxi Ford in Harrison and in Berryville. Or visit us online at ClayMaxiFord.com and ClayMaxiFordBerryville.com. Hamilton Burger takes on MeTV's number one attorney, Perry Mason. Any objection, Mr. Burger? I object. Objection. I object. Overruled. Will Hamilton Burger ever beat Perry Mason? Don't bet on it. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Hi, I'm Tara Wilmot, and as a HealthMart pharmacist, I have a crucial commitment to our community because just like you, I support our community. All HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned, just like our HealthMart here in Harrison. Sam Alexander Pharmacy on the Square in downtown Harrison. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Plants, plants, and more plants. That's what you'll find at Camps Plants in Harrison. Perennials, annuals, ferns, hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find your perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. Camps Plants, in business for over 35 years in Harrison. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. On any given day here at Main Street Service Center, we might be working on a Ford like on the four post lift over my shoulder, or an Infiniti that's back on the back bay, or a Toyota, or a BMW, or right here a Hyundai. You just never know what's going to come into the shop and what their needs might be. But you can rest assured that at Main Street Service Center, whatever you're driving, we can take care of it for you, whether it's oil and filter changes all the way up to engine and transmission replacements. And get this, we've been in business for 29 years, and there's still things that we can't do, and we're not too proud to say it. So if you bring us something and it's over our head or out of our capabilities of expertise or tools, we're not too proud to say it because we want your vehicle fixed correctly, right, and the first time. Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third-generation family-owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. Many things have changed over the years and so has Auto Body Repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. 
Quality PPG, waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel, plus 24-hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body in Harrison, always taking pride in excellence. Hamilton Burger takes on MeTV's number one attorney, Perry Mason. Any objection, Mr. Burger? I object. Objection. I object. Overruled. Will Hamilton Burger ever beat Perry Mason? Don't bet on it.